All right, man, so look, I came across this crazy, crazy video. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this video right here is low-key a little disturbing, but we finna react to it together as a family, cause that's what we are. So look, before we get to the video, I need y'all to do me a big, big favor, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing, man? Follow your boy on IG. Also, I got a podcast channel, link in the description box below. Go ahead, support your boy on the podcast, man. It's gonna be lit, I promise you, it's gonna be lit. All in the link in the description box below. I, I, I don't know what I just said, but look, let's get into it. Right now, Chicago police continue their search for a driver who ran down four men this morning, killing three of them. It happened in the South Shore neighborhood near 71st and Jeffrey. CBS2 Chardé Gray is live at the 3rd District Police Station. Chard now, when I heard about this story, I'm not, look, I seen the original video. The original video is ridiculous. I can't post the original video on YouTube because, I mean, the video would get taken down in a matter of seconds. It's violent. It's ridiculous, okay? Um... And when I seen that original video, bro, it really just like, it touched me in a different way, bro. Because it's just, it's hatred. It's nothing but hatred, bro. Pure evil. But I'm gonna let y'all finish watching the video because they show half of the video in this. Uh, this happened seven days ago in my home, in my hometown. Y'all know I'm from Chicago and still live in Chicago. So, you know, this, this happened all uh, near me. So it's just, it's crazy to see things like this happen, but I'm gonna finish. Come on, let's go. Today, are there any leads to catching this driver? Well, Dana, we have been in contact with the Chicago Police Department, and at this time, no updated information, but this tragic crash has torn families apart. A family member showed up at the scene in tears, too hurtful to say anything after seeing the evidence left behind. We did obtain pod cam video that shows the men flying in the air after a car slams into, into the four men. Literally flew in the air. We're getting multiple calls, uh, more than one person hit by the car. 71st and Jeffrey. Jeffrey Street in 71st was littered with dozens of evidence markers next to shoes and pieces of the vehicle's car after a horrific hit and run crash. U.S. Plan 1 for multiple victims hit by a car, 71st and Jeffrey. Dash cam video catches the crash. We've blurred the victims' faces and stopped the video before the four men were hit. You can see several people in the street and then within seconds, a car bolts through, hitting four men. Chicago police say around 5 this morning, a sedan was traveling southbound in the 7,000 block of South Jeffrey when the driver hit four adult men. The car appeared to be traveling at a high rate of speed. I took like three steps and then... Teresa says she was just talking to one of the victims. A car came and hit him. He flew over the car and as he landed, I ran over there like, oh my God. Three men were taken to the University of Chicago where they were pronounced dead. As he told him, don't move, like, because you could be bleeding internally, and they're just, they're just saying nothing like that. The fourth man was transported to Stroger with unknown conditions. And then I seen another guy laid out, like, on his back, eyes open. I walked over to him, and I was like, are you okay? The hit and run happened outside the Jeffrey Pub, one of the city's longest running LGBTQ bars. They posted on their Facebook page saying, we always encourage everyone to leave and go to your vehicles right away to make it home safe. And tonight this happened. So, I, okay, this, this, is one, this is my take on it. Um, number one, the one thing that I heard that happened was they said this was a hatred crime. They said that the guy who ran them over basically uh, ran them over because they was gay. That's that's what I heard. But then I also heard that he was running from another scene that he done uh, hit a car or something like that. It was it's a lot of stories behind it. But even if this was because they was gay, bro, I don't care how nobody feels about the LGBT community. Literally, we all know how I. If you watch my channel, you know how I feel. I don't support it, but I respect them as people because at the end of the day, they're still human beings and they still have feelings and hearts. So, of course, I respect them like that, but I don't support what they do. But I would never have that much hatred in my heart to go run over a group of individuals who are gay, trans, les. I, like, I would never have that type of energy in my heart. And it's crazy to say that this happened in my hometown. This is why people don't visit Chicago because this is the things that we do. And then number one, uh, the second, the second thing I want to say is, I didn't like the fact that I don't like the fact that um a lot of my black community people, the lot of people that's in the black community, I don't like the fact that we fight. I don't like the fact that we sit and we fight 
fight each other when we're supposed to be together. You know what I'm saying? I, me personally, I don't look at race with no, no, I don't look at race in white, Hispanic. I don't look at race. You know what I'm saying? I don't look at race. I believe that we all was called to be united into one. But at the end of the day, when I see black people fighting like this in the middle of the street at five in the morning, bro, that... It, that doesn't break it, it breaks my heart but not as bad as them getting killed this was how they ended their life this was how they ended their life their life ended in the next in the five seconds of them just fighting boom hit and run crash it's just crazy bro it's crazy you can you can literally lose your life in a matter of seconds in a matter of seconds bro my condolences go out to the family um the family of friends of, uh, of these individuals. I want y'all to let me know what y'all thoughts are on this situation. Because when I seen this video, I'm like, man, I got to react to it. But at that time, my channel was banned. So it was like, damn, I can't react to it. But now I can. You feel me? So let me know what y'all think about the situation, man. Let's have a conversation in the comment section below. I love y'all, man. Uh, man, Chicago. Y'all need to do better, bro. Like, come on, bro. Y'all really need to do better, man. Like, this is why a lot of famous people, big people, and just a lot of people in general moving from Chicago. It's a great city, but God damn, bro. So, somebody getting killed every second, every second of the day in Chicago, bro. Like, as I'm speaking, somebody just got killed now. It's just like, bro, this, this is this is the life. This is the uh, life of Chicago. This is, this is what Chicago is. It's nothing but a violent city. Nothing but a violent city. I mean, you can't even go walk your dog without probably your dog getting shot. It's crazy. And I'm telling you, it's crazy, bro. And people just shoot just to shoot. They don't literally. They be missing their their exact target, and they shoot a bystander. It's just like, bro, like, come on, man. If you go shoot somebody, at least take gun classes or something. Take some type of class so you can shoot your target. You shooting bystanders, but I'm not promoting the shooting at all. I feel like nobody shouldn't be shooting nobody. We shouldn't be murdering each other. But damn, bro, it's, it's ridiculous that this has to happen. And they was young too, probably in their twenties. They was young. But y'all let me know what y'all think about the situation, man. Hit the like button, subscribe to my post notifications. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.